Hey YouTubers, because of your 3,000 likes on the last video, I came all the way to California and I brought with me Natter from Freak Eating, who just hit over 100,000. Congratulations, sir, well, thank on you his very channel. Much. Thank it's you. Uh, well deserved, awesome. And we have Aaron from Aaron's Food Adventures. Go check out their channels at the end of the video. Uh, but because of your 3,000 likes, guys, uh, we came to In N Out to do the 5x5, five five, yeah. and we've learned that you can't order a 5x5, five five, but they're very accommodating. So we were trying to figure out how we're going to order a 5x5, five five, but the guy at the counter said, order a 4x4, four four, and then show them what they'll give you on the side. So a patty with cheese on it, so we got yeah. two of those. So we got our 4x4s four four and our extra patty here to complete the 5x5. Five five. Oh, that smells good. Yeah, it smells good. It's oh, very sushi. greasy. Yeah. All the games. Okay. Lots of games so here today. So Aaron doesn't want to do the 5x5, five five, which is fine, but Natter... I want the carb game. That's basically right. The carb game. Natter is... Uh, uh, a competitive food eater and wanted to, to attempt the challenge with me. Yeah. So this this is uh, Aaron's. He did the double, and uh, in animal style. style. You, a lot of you guys like animal style, so Aaron's appeasing you for that. And then, and then more you, animal style. And then you did the that. animal style fries, which I don't like whatsoever. I apologize <laughs> to the people who hate when I don't like something that they love. And then we've got. That's why, that's why I've got it for Mr. Kim. And that's the four by four. Ooh. That's going to be Natter's. There you wow. go, sir. Look at that. This, there, All kinds of meat and cheese on there. Look at mine. Mine got gushed big time. All right. So we're going to have to do a little bit of a build. Yeah. Again, because they just, I'm not, it's, I'd be interested to know why they won't do that for us. Well, in the past, there were some people who would go overboard and order like 20 by 20s and 30 oh, by 30s. Oh, and then it just gets chaos. But it would, it would clog up the kitchen badly. Yeah. And they have a system, I guess, in place. So mine is already way out of skew. Here, look at this. Yeah. Check that. All the meats like that's slid like, up one side. That's look art, at that. basically. <laughs> that is art. Oh my gosh. I'm gonna have to deconstruct to reconstruct. Yeah. Not ah, screw it. <laughs> no, I just got a big mess. Oh. Mine is stuck to the paper. Goodness me, oh my. Gonna be? I'm gonna you definitely use this little box as my trough. Yeah, we got to. Yeah. Natter also just taught me something new as well. Tell them about what you ordered. Oh, we actually went uh, rogue today and we ordered two milkshakes that are not on the menu. I mean, in and out's menu is very basic. So I actually got a root beer float, which is not on the menu. And what did you get, Ken? This is the uh, Cosmopolitan, which I've done before. I'm dripping in your car. That's okay. So that's chocolate, vanilla, and strawberry. Chocolate, vanilla, and strawberry, and as you drink it, it just keeps changing flavor. Yeah, their, their menu is real basic, but there's a lot of permutations that you can do that not everybody knows about. Right, and we're trying to teach them to you slowly. Yeah. All right, guys. So, are you guys ready? Yep. Ready. So this isn't really a food review as much as it is a food challenge, just yeah. to see if we can eat it and see how full we are when we're done. I can't believe that's going to be inside my, my stomach in a couple minutes, but... Yeah. And it's sliding apart again. Yeah, it does not holding uh, up well at all. doesn't hold it's up. It's got to go fast. All right, guys. Here we go. Yeah. Thanks for the 3,000 uh, likes. This one's for you guys and you guys. Let's go. Here we go. Delicious and greasy. Yes. Mm -hmm. If it wasn't for the cheese, though, mm -hmm. you'd be doomed. Will they give you, like, an extra um, tomato if you ask for it? Have you ever experienced that, or...? They will. Because I would recommend putting uh, an extra tomato on this. Not not that it will... Yeah. It'll fall apart even more, but at least it will give it some more juice. Because yeah. it's just all meat and cheese. Did you get pickles on yours, Ken? <laughs> it'll break down the meat taste. Do they put pickles on it? If, if I know they put normally? pickles on no. mine. Okay. No, it's just relish. And then some sauce. I guess it's like a mayo crossed with, I don't know. What do you think? Looks like a Thousand Island dressing. A Thousand yeah. Island dressing, yeah. right? Because I have pickles on mine, so you wouldn't like this one probably. Because mm. <laughs> you're my animal. So I've done the double double, or the double, the three by three, the four by four. We've done the five by five. I think next time I come, I'll do the eight by eight. So just order two yeah. four by fours. Jam them together. Taking a big jump from five yeah. to eight. I haven't even touched the top bun yet. Unbelievable. It doesn't really hold up. It's, it's, just, it's more than your mouth can hold. I would say my bottom patty there isn't uh, as cooked. No. I think this might be next. Check no, that you, out, Yours people. is all pink. 
I think this might be napkins right here. That was the bonus patty too. Oh, look at that. Pin? The whole thing right here on your elbow. You know what, guys? I love In-N-Out burgers, but they're pretty messy. They're messy. Messy. Yeah. And when you order more than two patties, then it just becomes a meatloaf. Mm -hmm. It basically kills the flavor of of, yeah. of uh, this. So all you can taste really is meat. Yeah. Meat and cheese. Cheesy meat. Mm. Oh, that milkshake is going to come in handy. I'll yeah. tell you. I've never had a root beer float here, so we'll see. So so you, you knew about it, mm -hmm. and so you thought you'd, you'd bonus. Yeah. And consensus, tell the people, Natter. Tell the people. It actually has a solid blend between root beer and, ice, and vanilla ice cream. Are we getting approved? It's melted enough to where I can actually just drink it now. It's, it's very enjoyable. So it turns your your regular good tasting root beer into a into a creamy yeah. milky, almost like a milkshake or a root yeah. ba root beer flavored milkshake. That's basically what it is. With your sugar, all oh, that's yeah. all pink in there. Mm. So not all meat is cooked equally here. That's it isn't. <laughs> you know. How far uh, east has it grown? This oh. company. They're in Texas. Hmm. Parts of Texas, they're not all over the place. Mm -hmm. They're definitely not in New York. I don't think they're in Florida even. No, I, 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 think, think, I think they're just as far east as Texas, I wanna say. I think over time they will definitely mm -hmm. start pushing right across the country yeah. and then slowly up into Canada. I believe so. They would do well in Canada, for sure. I think people would miss, Yeah. or people in Canada and the US miss this old school yeah. diner type food. I also wanted to just go over the bill really quick. Yeah. So the, the a four by four is basically $6.10. And then the extra patty is $1.15. And then this whole bill came to $30.39. $30 which is pretty decent for, yeah. and we're overeating too. And and we're oh, yeah. and we're like ten dollars a person. I'm not sure on average when uh, in America what you would spend on a lunch, but ten to fifteen dollars on a lunch is, yeah. is a usual right. thing. But again, this is overeating. Right. There's probably twice the amount of meat we should be eating, mm -hmm. or more. Probably well, three times the yeah. amount of meat we should be eating. Tell them about the animal fries, because I, I it gave was, it a bad rating, yeah. so you give it a good rating. Well, it's it's delicious, you know, just. Really, really good stuff overall. I just got mine just the regular fries in general. Sometimes I'll get the well done fries. They'll keep it in the fryer a little longer, a little crunchier. But oh yeah, you can request mm -hmm. right uh, well done fries. Very cool. Um, explain to the people who don't know what animal fries are. So it's pretty much just you know a thousand island kind of a thing. There's some caramelized onions on there as well. And that's it. Pretty much. I've seen people put, you know, cheese on their fries too. That's another item, I believe. Do you think That's there's relish in there as well, though? Because uh, there was like a relish on this. Possibly. Right? I can't remember anymore. I've got like a five-second memory sometimes. <laughs> like I thought that thousand the inner, the animal style had cheese on it. It doesn't. There's no melted cheese on there. I can't recall. Uh, there probably is. Because I think. Correct me if I'm wrong, people. I think there's. I just eat. I think it's Thousand Island sauce, melted cheese, and then those caramelized onions. It's yeah. a, it's a very different texture if you've never had it before. It's delicious. I like it. Well, what'd you think, sir? I thought it was excellent. I uh, don't think I need to eat again today. No. Need. I ate a, a very big dinner last night, and I didn't. This is the first time I've eaten today. I probably won't eat until late tonight for sure. Mm -hmm. And you? How how was your overall meal for stuffed wise? This, filling. I, I think it was just perfect amount for me kind of a thing. I'm not overly stuffed by any means. It's just very satisfying in general. And yeah. Really nice and refreshing to wash it down. Lemonade. Well, every time I come out to the West Coast, I have to have in and out for sure. I probably will not order a 5 by 4 It wouldn't be a <laughs> yeah. normal thing I would do. Again, the double-double is the most I would go. Even the triple-triple, I think, is just too much meat, beef. Uh, it's just too much too much beef in your sandwich. So I personally would recommend the, the double uh, regular fries and of course the Neapolitan. Uh, what's your recommendation? 
I think you. Uh, I think uh, I'm very similar to you. I believe that the triple, triple, and beyond, you're actually starting to get too much beef in the sandwich. Yeah. It's just the the meat and cheese texture and taste dominates. The double, double is a perfect burger for me, and I yeah. know for a lot of people, even that is too big. Right. Most r- r- casual diners are eating a cheeseburger, and maybe the, you know, the animal style fries is very popular. I know you don't like them so much. No. And I I'll eat them on occasion, but they're not really my favorite. I know Aaron loves them, but. I, I eat in and out occasionally, so it's it's not it's not like for you where you come to the West Coast and it's this is a visitor. It's a treat. It's a visitor's a, treat. Yeah. And for me, I'm I'm just used to it. Yeah. But it's good, great food. One of my one of my favorite fast food places in in Southern California. Very cool. For sure. And Aaron, would you like to rate your food? Basically, on your scale, I could go out and get it now. Basically. Yeah. And this is pretty much what I would get if I was going to go to In and Out. Just any time is what I just had. Double, right. double animal style and then animal style fries. Took you a while to order though. He was just like, yeah, mm. <laughs> too many options. Too many. No, yeah. well, the funny thing is there aren't a whole <laughs> lot of options. <laughs> We're we're trying we're trying to figure out if they would give us the patty on the side or actually make us a five by five. Right. And if that was going to happen, we're just going to get four four by fours and steal two patties off his. Uh, but the, again, they, they are very accommodating in giving us extra patties on the side. So I'm really glad that In and Out's uh, accommodating people right. that want to overeat just for once as a joke or, or for making a video on YouTube. For right? sure. <laughs> All right, guys. Natter, thank you very much for being in my uh, video. Thank I you really for having appreciate me. it. Anytime, Aaron. Thank you very Thank much. You. Guys, uh, please go check out Freak Eating, uh, Natter's channel, and Aaron's uh, Aaron's food adventures. Go check out both the channels. The links will be in the description. All right, guys, once again, thank you very much for the 3,000 thumbs up. You guys rock. You guys are awesome. I think we're we're actually not at 3,000 at the moment, but by the end of today, possibly tomorrow, will be 3,000. So when this airs, you can for go back sure. and check out the last video. I'll have 3,000 sure. like. So thank you very much for all your support, guys. And uh, I'm so glad that I, I had you guys along to help me out. Eat the 5x5. Five five. If you enjoyed watching this video with Natter and Aaron and I eating at in and out please hit the subscribe button. It's probably around here on this screen with these three guys in the car. But if you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up. Ding, 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 ding. And we'll see you next time on another Ken, Natter, and Aaron food review challenge. Ken, Natter, and Aaron out. Boop. See you next time on another Ken, Natter, and Aaron food v- review. I'm gonna re-challenge. Snap! Ken, Natter, and Aaron food challenge and review. Ken. Oh my god! Alright guys, thanks for watching. Talk to you later. Bye.